Hi everyone, this is 270 EHE19 here. And what you're seeing in front of you is my Dell Optiplex 990 computer. Out in the YouTube world, a lot of YouTubers refer to this model or this generation of a computer as a $100 or a $225 gaming computer. Well, let's look around the front here for a sec. This is the sticker that the machine originally came with. If you can read that. And this is the model right over here. And let's look up above. Well, what we do we see up above is the manufacture date. So we are dealing with 2011 processing power. Back yonder right over here, we see some window stickers. Yes. This computer originally started life as a Windows 7 computer. Now, when I purchased it used back in 2017, it came with Windows 10. And interesting enough, as it came with Windows 10, this is the only operating software that this computer has been running on as of today, December 24, 2024. Well, let's, let's look up above here. As you can see, right over here, we look at the screen and this is how the Windows 10 looks like as of now. Looks really nice and it did its job. However, this thing is soon to become a Linux computer because number one, as of October of 2025, Windows 10 is going to be going out of support. And number two, the computer doesn't meet the Windows 11 requirements. From what you guys saw already, the manufacturer date. Yeah, this thing is running on 2011 processing power. Well, so what we're going to do today is we are going to turn this Windows 10 computer into a Linux Mint computer. Let's meet you at the other side after I do everything else. As you can see here, this is my Linux Mint 22 64-bit version recorded onto DVD RW. To those of you out there, do you like to still record stuff onto discs? I do. I enjoy it. Yes, it is a little slower than having to put stuff on a USB stick. But for me, I'm not in a rush. And plus, as you guys know, this Dell Optiplex 990 computer still has two DVD recorders onto it. So might as well just take advantage of that instead of having to fiddle with the settings to make this thing accept the USB or should I say that the bootable USB to get the stuff off of there. So I'd rather just uh, get it off of a disc instead. So this is my method of choice of doing that.
If you got this far, thank you for doing so. This video is not meant to be a tutorial to train you to convert a Windows computer to a Linux Mint computer. What I wanted to do was just to demonstrate how this 13-year-old Dell Optiplex 990 computer went from being a Windows computer to a Linux Mint computer. If you haven't yet, please like, ring that bell, and subscribe for more future videos. This is 270 EH19 simply saying thank you for watching.